Hundreds of students graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy this week, and a young man from our area will be joining the next incoming class. John Clark is a senior at Father Judge High School, and he's accomplished the rare feat of getting accepted into not one, but all. Shout out to Leroy, Leroy B, man. He says, only a black of stand does an ass like this have hoes. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember it was times, man. I was, man, it was times I'm searching. We'd be going out to the club and shit, striking out left and right, man. Going to the mall, striking out left and right. Going to cookouts. And this thing got, he got a goddamn, he got a goddamn line around the corner for bitches trying to eat his ass and shit. First, they got to earn the right, though. Now, you got to remember that. They they got to first earn the right. He don't just let them eat his butt. They got to earn the right to eat his butt. He put them through, um, like, the police academy and shit. They got to climb over the wall and shit. They got to run through the tires and shit. And then at the end, at the end of the obstacle course, he be waiting there with his butthole open, ready. <laughs> oh my god, man! But she gotta get in line. She so she she don't get she she gotta get in line. She gotta take a ticket, man. They got a little ticket, you know how when you. <laughs> you gotta take a ticket. You just rip the little ticket off. and got the number on it and shit. <laughs> She just sit here wait for her turn to eat his butt. God damn, man. <laughs> Shit. Hundreds of students graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy this week, and a young man from our area will be joining the next incoming class. John Clark is a senior at Father Judge High School, and he's accomplished the rare feat of getting accepted into not one, but all five U.S. service academies. I sat down with him this past week to talk about his mission to serve. Yeah, it was, it was like one after another, basically, over a uh, span of like four months. One after another, John Clark found himself with a tough decision to make. Once we got the first one, I couldn't believe it was one after the other. The Father Judge High School senior was accepted into all five U.S. service academies and will be recognized by city council next week for his accomplishment. Mom Heather Clark, rightfully, extremely proud. He's just a well-rounded good kid, and I'm not saying that just because he's my son. John had dreamed of becoming a pilot through the Navy, but when he learned of his acceptance into the Air Force Academy last December, he got what he felt was a sign. When that uh, letter came across my portal for Air Force, if you heard a fire jet over Philadelphia this morning, you're not alone. At the same exact time, an F-15 flew over Philadelphia to intercept the plane flying over the um, president's house in Delaware. With a nurse mom and law enforcement father, plus a history of family members in the military, John felt a call to serve very early on. It became a childhood obsession. Ever since I was little, I don't know what, what drew me to... You see this? You goddamn shiftless son words. <laughs> While you getting your booty ate and fighting at Six Flags. It's going to be a fucking thousand gliders like this refueling fighter jets at 40,000 feet. <laughs> And dropping drones on <laughs> terrorists and shit. <laughs> While you getting your booty ate. And arguing with cashiers at McDonald's over goddamn cold fries and shit. Salute, man. Thank you, Gladys. The planes, but I'm just like, I'm a nerd for airplanes. So I'm fascinated. I have like the models and everything. I'll tell you all, every single plane that's in the military. He's heading out to Colorado Springs. Yeah, nah, facts. Booty head guys with it, man. 
this guy got to go. This guy about to go train for you. This guy about to go fucking train and shit. And his life going to be a living hell of discipline and regimentation for the next five, six years. <laughs> Only for the right to fucking protect a bunch of goddamn shiftless sun words, man. <laughs> Booty head dude is winning, man. <laughs> So I'm fascinated. I have like the models and everything. I'll tell you all, every single plane that's in the military. He's heading out to Colorado Springs in a few weeks for basic cadet training and plans to study aerospace engineering. Just 18 years old with his whole life ahead of him. He already has a clear vision. I could switch from being a fighter pilot or whatever pilot I'm, I'm assigned as to become a test pilot and then for the government and then work for a private company like Rocky Martin or Boeing. And then, maybe, out. <laughs> and then maybe eventually become an astronaut or, or aerospace engineer working for a company. So Yes, John is extremely impressive, but spend some time with him and you'll see he's also kind and well respected. Yes, oh, first I'm MSA trying. tournament. At a time when service academies are seeing a drop in applications, John is also serving as an inspiration. Like you can't really force upon, you know, the will to want to be in the military and things like that, but you can really, you know, set an example and give kids an idea of what it would be like and fulfilling a longtime dream of having an aviator call sign of his own i mean what's it called like a lot of the top gun names i think are cool like, like iceman like that's sick maverick that's sick salute to this glider man thank you thank you glider man for your service man protecting all of us down here man in booty head land <laughs> Three teenagers who deputies say were armed and breaking into cars in Coweta County are now under arrest and facing serious charges. That's after this high-speed chase through a busy shopping center parking lot. Fox 5's Doug Evans has more now on that story. Deputies here in Coweta County. He said he can lose it all by saying the magic word. <laughs> If he drives, that kid drops one in bomb, man, his life is over, man. Meanwhile, booty head, booty head, can kill somebody and be out the next day and shit. Booty head can shoot up a goddamn nursery and get out on bond and had the charges thrown out by some liberal DA. But our fucking, our fucking glider friend there, man, his life would be ruined if. His life would be ruined if he says, you people. <laughs> he says, you people, his life is ruined. Three teenagers who deputies say were armed and breaking into cars in Coweta County are now under arrest and facing serious charges. That's after this high-speed chase through a busy shopping center parking lot. Fox 5's Doug Evans has more now on that story. Deputies here in Coweta County say there are no statistics out on it yet, but it's just something that they feel is on the increase. Juveniles running from the law at high speeds, some of them armed. A deputy says he spotted this stolen car in the Ashley Park Shopping Center in Noonan on June 2nd. Watch what happens when he tried to pull it over. The deputy says the driver sped through the parking lot at a high. Do you know how dangerous that is? Speed through a parking lot. That's so fucking dangerous. And he and if he kills somebody, let's just say he mows somebody down. He gonna keep on going. And when he get caught, they probably what charge him with vehicular manslaughter, mandatory five years in some of these states. He'll plea down, get it two years. They'll drop the fleeing police if he please. If he takes the plea deal. <laughs> Fucker be home in fucking 16 months, in 18 months.
high speed with a lot of pedestrians around. Here's what happened next when the stolen car reached the street. On the bypass head southbound. And on from the traffic. After the pit maneuver, the driver and two passengers bailed and ran for it. They say the driver dropped a bag with a handgun in it. They say they later found another gun, a stolen one, in the car. Here's what they learned when they captured the three. So the driver of the vehicle, 17-year-old out of Albany, uh, the two passengers who were uh, also apprehended were... Albany, one of them from Albany, man. Shout out to Albany, Georgia, man. Fine town, man. <laughs> Fine town over Albany, Georgia. So the driver of the vehicle, 17-year-old out of Albany, uh, the two passengers who were uh, also apprehended were 16 years old. Don't move! Deputies captured the driver in the woods behind a different shopping center. He was identified as 17-year-old Jason Lewis Stevens. All it is to catch these fuckers and they'll be out the next day. <laughs> God dog. Man, salute to Ike watch you, man. Salute to you, bro. Robinson from Albany. He's charged with theft by receiving stolen property, possession of a firearm during a crime, obstruction of officers, driving without a license, and reckless driving. The 16-year-olds were not identified because of their age. They are also facing serious felony charges. Deputies say they found evidence that the three had been breaking into cars. This is the second week in a row that we've had juveniles um, with stolen cars running from the deputies. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.